We have spindle cells, they have them in a far larger profusion than you and I do, and they've had them for 15 million years longer than we have. So animals don't grow a huge brain randomly. A brain takes up a lot of energy, takes up about 20% of your oxygen. They, they're using this brain for something. Um, what are they doing when they orient themselves like this and send clicks to one another over and over again? They do this around free divers too. At the beginning, they echolocate you and then they start sending these communication clicks as they orient themselves like this. It's one of the weirdest things anyone can ever experience. So those are just a few of the things these researchers are trying to figure out right now. They're working with a group of mathematicians and physicists in France trying to bust this cetacean clip communication code. Um, they believe it's not a linguistics problem, but a coding problem. And the way to solve it isn't going to be by approaching it through uh, more academic means, but to involve some coders and some people really into data transmission who understand that to try to figure out what these animals are saying. And that's hopefully what they're going to be doing in the next couple of years. We know they're talking. We know they're talking to one another. Uh, we just don't know what they're saying yet. And hopefully we're going to figure that out. So in a nutshell, very brief nutshell, that's just part of the uh, research that I did for the book Deep Here, and um, the research is ongoing. These guys that I was just profiling now uh, got some funding to do more expeditions. They've collected more uh, behavioral and communication data on sperm wells in a few years of free diving with them than anyone in history has done through um, institutional means. So whatever they're doing is working. Hopefully we'll be able to um, produce some real results in the next few years.